Shalom. Hey, 23rd. Uh, Shalom. Shalom. Okay, we're going to start off by giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, double honor to the elder apostles from the great millstone called us his truth. Peace and salutation to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's prophesying his truth. Alright, so, uh, uh, let's go like we normally go through the Holy Spirit, right? Alright, uh, Let's go to go with the uh, uh uh in the book start off in the book of uh I said Revelation but uh matter of fact let's let's start in the book of Revelation uh gonna start it off uh let's see somewhere around uh Second Peter. No, we'll go back to Second Peter. We know the Revelation first. We we'll start off in the book of Revelation, uh, chapter um, uh, Start at 18, Revelation 18. I, uh, I was looking at uh, Revelation uh, 21. Okay. Uh, uh, but let's start at 18. Uh, I believe uh, Pastor Tahar talked about, uh, I guess, in the, uh, the last. Uh, uh, well, not the last one, but the, uh, the camp uh, video. He was saying Revelation 18 was one of his favorite books, and I see why. Uh, you know, uh, was that, that, that book could be, you know, all of our books, you know, that we really, you know, because it's uh, the destruction of uh, Babylon the Great, or the daughter of Babylon, which is America. Uh, Revelation 18... And uh, and verse four, it says, "I heard another voice from heaven saying, 'Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues.'" So, in that scripture, is really talking about the uh, the ways of America, you know. John the Revelator, you know, through the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, telling, you know, uh. His people to come out of the uh, come out of America, uh, no, yeah, uh, well, you know the spirit of Yahweh by the uh, you know, the spirit is telling him to, uh, tell us to come out of America, you know, so we would be not partakers of our sins, and you know we know through uh, you know sin is uh, is transgression of the law, and the law was given to the Israelites, man. All nations wasn't given the, uh, you know, the laws, you know, and uh, you know about that through, um, you know, this, that's in the, uh, the book of Moses where Moses received the, uh, the, the commandments, man. Okay, so it says, "Come out of her, my people, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues." And what's the plagues? The plagues is the uh, intercontinentalistic missiles, man. Okay, and uh, it says, "For her sins have reached unto the heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities." Okay, all of the sins that Babylon the Great has committed, you know, uh, you know, uh, the Lord said He had remembered her iniquities, and her iniquities, you know, uh, uh, were, uh, you know, pretty much directed, you know, at uh, the nation of Israel which are the, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And, you know, and really, you know, see, such a big devil, if the Lord, uh, 
had a two, you know, uh, had that sword pointed at all nations, man. Well, that's why the scriptures say back in uh, uh, Revelation 17 that they said they shall hate the whore, you know, the beast system, you know, uh, NATO and EU. Okay, they uh, even though they are all, you know, those are Edomite uh, nations, they started to hate Babylon the Great. Okay, or uh, Bab uh, the daughter of Babylon. Okay, the virgin daughter of Babylon. Okay, and the reason the scripture called America virgin, the virgin daughter of Babylon or Babylon the Great is because uh, she has been that uh, you know uh, uh, that that virgin daughter that hadn't been hit. You know? And, hey, let's let you know how good the, the word play of the Lord is, man. Okay? Because right now we'll say, you know, uh, about hitting a girl, you know, meaning, you know, you, you know, put the water up there. <laughs> and that's the same way, right? So, uh... Hold on, 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 hold Alright. Alright, uh Revelation 18 and verse uh 6 it says, Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her according to her works. You know, the works of America has always been, you know, uh, uh, uh bad against the Lord's people, man. As you know, as had the sword against us as a people, you know. Even from the times uh, uh, back in the ancient times, you know, we, uh, that's that's our uh, uh, sworn enemy, man. Okay, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is our sworn enemy. Okay, uh, read it, Noah. It says, "And the cup which she had filled, filled to her double." Okay, so she gonna get double of what she had uh, given us, man. Us as men of the Lord, or as a, uh, the nation, really, the, uh, the Israelites as a nation, beginning with the elect, okay? That's who's going to be put, uh, uh, putting that, that double, giving her a double cup of what she's giving us, okay? It says, uh, it says, how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so was torment and sorrow give her. For she had said in her heart, I said as a queen, I have no widow, and shall seek no sorrow. You know? You know that's the pompous attitude of the uh, you know, the so-called white man. Okay? Starting with the elite bankers, man. You know, that's 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 their um, you know, uh that proudness, you know, to have uh you know, saying that she, you know, she's going to always be doing good. Which you can see that's a, 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 a total lie as we speak, man. How things have been going uh, uh, for the daughter of Babylon now, man. Okay? She's losing. She's losing bad, right? Uh, uh, back in, uh, I guess that's Rev uh, uh, Isaiah... 13 when the Lord said he gonna sweep her with a beast of my destruction man okay a beast of my destruction is the intercostalistic uh, uh, fire man the nuclear missiles are gonna sweep uh, Babylon the Great okay and one hour okay uh, uh, when it said her riches her, her great riches come to to not in one hour, man. Okay, uh, verse 8, it says, Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall utterly uh, be, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh, the Most High, who had judged her. See, this is the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay, and you know, uh, uh, these different pastors will tell you, you know, God is all good, and God is all love. Okay? 
Now, what God is that, man? Uh, God is a fair, uh, 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 a judge, right? All right, read it on. Verse 9, it says, The kings of the earth who had committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Okay, so let's let you know, man, that anti-constabilistic missile is going to clap down here in America, man. Okay. standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying at last at last that great city Babylon that mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come you see in one hour the Lord is going to allow these nations to shoot missiles and to destroy this place in one hour man okay You know, for a lot of people, it take about an hour to get to work. So imagine the great riches that uh, uh, that Babylon the Great and the buildings that she set up would come to uh, a destruction in one hour. Okay? Verse 11, it says, And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buy it their merchandise anymore, see? Let's let you know, man, America is going to be totally destroyed, man, by intercontinentalistic missiles, man. You see? Uh, reading on, verse 12, it says, the, merchant, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and, and of pearls and fine linen, purple and silk, scarlet, and of thy wood and all manner of vessels of ivory, and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and brass and iron, marble, and it's going into different things that, uh, you know, that's be, uh, uh, being imported, that's gonna be lost with the destruction of Babylon the Great. All right, uh, let's jump down, well, verse 13. It says, and cinnamons and odors and ointments and frankincense, wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. You see? All of these things which, you know, are gonna be lost in that uh, uh the devastation that uh, uh or the second death that the scriptures talk about, man. Alright, uh and the souls of men, right? And the souls of men is that that hey, which you know, uh uh the Lord's people have sold their soul to this devil, man. You know, that's what I'm, you know, getting. You know, because, you know, like the scripture said, uh, 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 what what good is a man that sell his own soul, uh, uh, soul and lose his own life, okay? Uh, roughly paraphrase. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Uh, All right, let's read on. Uh, back in uh, Revelation 18. And uh, verse 14, it says, And the fruits that thy soul lusted after uh, are departed from thee, and all the things which thou were dainty and goodly are depart from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. Okay, so this is just going into the things, the uh, uh, common things that are going to be lost, you know. Uh, verse 15, it says, The merchant of these things which were made rich by her uh, shall stand afar off, it says, for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. Uh, uh, I, read, I read that already, so like it. No, no, I, I'm right, I'm right. Verse 16, it says, and saying at last, at last, that great city, 
that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with fine gold and precious stones and pearls for in one hour so great riches has come to naught. see and hey and that's going to be a, a, a devastating time for a lot of people that that you know hold this uh place in place in great esteem man and love this place man the lord said in one hour great riches are going to come to naught. okay it says uh uh, it says that every shipmaster and all the companies and ships and sailors and as many as traded by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning saying what city is like unto this great city and that's talking about America man all the the the, the, the trade the imports and exports of uh, uh, shipmasters and the you know and the nations that uh, traded and uh, you know with America, you know the, the Lord and the Scripture say they're gonna be crying, man. Okay, because the great riches are lost, man. You know, you know which America made a lot of these countries rich, man, off exports and imports, man. Okay, mostly uh, imports that's being imported into America, man. You know, uh, uh, mainly China is one of the, is one of the top nations, man that America made rich, or Babylon the Great has made rich of importing uh, uh, their merchandise here, man. Okay, it says, uh, uh, verse 9, it says, And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, And last and last, a great city were into where made rich all that had ships in the sea by the reason of her uh, costlessness. For in one hour she is made desolate, man. In one hour, this place is gonna be made desolate. How? By intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Okay? And people, you know, I see it through uh, you know, on social media, people don't believe that this great America will be destroyed, man. Okay? What they call uh the lake of uh fire is is Babylon the Great. America is is that lake of fire, man. Okay, that lake of fire is not, uh, you know, uh, uh, underground, man. Or, you know, where the a devil holds a pitchfork, man. That lake of fire is, is going to be here in America, man. Okay, these are prophecies that the Lord put his servants out on the street corners to prophesy. Okay, because this is not a, a, a thing that, you know, that's made to be preached in different churches, man. Because, you know, won't nobody really come. That's why... You know, the, uh, 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 the public hate the Israelites, man. Why? Because we tell the truth. Like they say, the, uh, they say the truth is, uh, everyone hates the truth, man. Okay? Because America's built on lies, man. All right? Even, you know, even the, per the place you work is built on lies, man. Lies and deceit. That's what keeps America float, man. Okay? America is that woman, man, you know, like we always say, a, a, a woman loves to hear lies, man. You know, she'll tell you, tell me the truth, but, hey, she loved the lies. She loved to be in that suspenseful uh, mind thought, you know. Suspense is what uh, uh, keeps her going, you know. Uh, a bunch of lies, man, okay. All right, uh, Revelation 18. And verse 20, it says, Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Lord, uh, for the Most High, had avenged you on her. You see? That's why we come out and prophesy this, man. Hey, the Lord wants us to rejoice, okay, over the, the destruction of America, man. You see? He wants us to rejoice over this place, man, because, uh, Really, America is a monument. Uh, it's going to be made a monument for, uh, uh, for us to know when it's burning like that. It's, this is where the Israelites serves a, a hardcore captivity, man. Okay? This is where the, uh, the, the harshest uh, 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 rape, robbery, and murder against the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were, were here, man. You see? This is that uh, uh, America is an altar, man. 
okay? And the people would be that burnt sacrifice, man. Uh, verse 21, it says, And the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall a great city Babylon be thrown down and shall not be found no more at all. See? Hey, America is that violent, bloody, that bloody city, man. Okay, look at the history of the Israelites, man. The history of the southern kingdom, man. Just let alone, you know, which the northern kingdom went through the same uh, uh, thing that the uh, southern kingdom went through. Okay, it's just not publicized like the uh, uh, rape, robbery, and murder that the so-called white man has portrayed on the southern kingdom, which are the so-called Negroes, man. Okay, which, I, you know, you see right here. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which are the uh, so-called Negroes, which are Judah, which make the Negroes the true Jews, man, okay? And Benjamin, which is the West Indian, you know, and Levi, which are the Haitians, man, okay? All right? So we know uh, uh, our Lord sprang out of Judah, man. He will be what you so-called a Negro, a so-called black man today. Okay, so when the Lord comes back as this big black dark skinned man with woolly hair and a white beard, man, hey, don't be surprised, okay? Which the scripture talk about people gonna be uh, 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 at all, you know? They're gonna be like, damn, you know? With the strangeness of our salvation, man. It's not gonna be like how these uh, pastors and preachers preach it, man. All right? Uh, read it on. It says, uh, uh, verse 22, it says, And the voice of harps and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all, and thee and no craftsman, and of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a great millstone so like it. it says, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. Meaning that work work won't be no more here, you know? Nothing, because this place is going to be a desert, man, once the fire uh, comes down, man. Okay? So that uh, what you call that uh, uh, lake of fire is going to be America, man. Or what the uh, uh, these different pastors call the lake of fire would be here in America, man. That, that's the lake of fire, man. Okay? Uh, verse 23, it says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the brides shall be heard no more at all in thee. You know, that, that, that's beautiful where it says, The light of a candle shall not shine anymore. It makes me think of Job, man. Uh, let's let's go to Job. Uh, I believe it's Job twenty, or maybe five. Let's see. Uh, uh, fourteen, I believe it is. No, it's not. Uh, Job eighteen. It says uh, eighteen. In verse 5, Job, the book of Job, chapter 18 and verse 5, it says, Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. In, uh, shall not shine. See? Verse 6, it says, The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him. Woo! Hey, let's let you know, man, uh, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, man, is a... a a so-called angry, uh, angry black man. Okay, and I, you know, I've seen the, you know, the reaction on the young, kind of like Hispanic North walked by and his uh, my girl, and kind of had the head down, kind of had that smirk on her face. But hey, man, it is what it is, man. Hey, 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 hey. Sin is believing. Okay. Seeing is believing, and we're, we, we're fastly approaching that date, man. You know, it might not be tomorrow, next month, but hey, these prophecies rolling out, man. They're coming quick, man. 
Okay. Uh. Verse 23, it says, For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. See, the sorceries, man. You know, all nations were deceived by the sorcery of Esau Edom. Okay? And you know that uh, you go into the uh, pharmacia, pharmacies is, uh, come from pharmacia, which is uh, witchcraft. Okay? Those different uh, forms of medication. You know, that's just all forms of witchcraft. You know, you see women big time in the, uh, you know, in the uh, pharmacy, man, or, or doctor's office, man. They love that uh, 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 pharmacia, man. You know, that's just witchcraft, man. All right, uh, verse 24, it says, In her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Okay? Okay, so, and that's the past, man, you know, and, and like the scripture said, you know, uh, uh, some of the servants of the Lord would be put to death, man, would be brung to, uh, 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 you know, uh, to be slain. Martyrs for this truth. Martyrs for Yahweh Shemi Abshad name. Okay? Let's go to uh, Second Peter's, man. All right. Uh, Yeah, so this truth is very, uh... But, hey, we'll go with part. It's not popular at all, man. The truth is never gonna be popular here in Babylon the Great, man. All right, uh... Uh, this is, uh... Let's go to 2 Peter's chapter 3. And uh and verse verse 10 it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay? So how would that happen? That's a contradiction, man. The Lord said, the, uh, "Hey, the scriptures say the Lord would come back as a thief in the night, man. Hey, when the Lord comes back, hey, it's gonna be, you know, uh, it's gonna be in secret. You know how a thief would come in your house? That's how the Lord is gonna come back, man. And he's not gonna look the way these different churches put up uh, uh, this portrait of him being the so-called white man with stringy." Stringy hair and blue eyes, man. You know, he's gonna come back as a so-called black man. Okay, with woolly hair, white hair, and a woolly beard, man. An angry black man. Hey, and the so-called white man hates to see an angry black man. He gets scared. He gonna call everybody in you know, for one angry black man. Imagine when the Lord comes back, you know, with his chariots, man. Well, what they call so-called UFOs, man. Those are the chariots of the Lord, man. Okay, so the elite bankers know that this is going to be uh, 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 America's destruction, man. By the way, uh, intercultural ballistic missiles and also those chariots, man. Okay, so when the chariots come, and that's, you know, that's why you've been seeing uh, different sightings of the chariots, man. When the chariots come back, okay, it's going to be a, which they have been making their presence here and there, but when they ultimately come back, you know, people's hearts going to fail, man. Okay, a lot of heart attacks, man. All right, uh, let's see, where were we, uh, verse 11, uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 11. It says, uh, Seeing then that all things, all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You know, and our uh, apostles had, uh, uh, you know, the uh, camp 
a video and they went, they went into this also, man. Okay, now that I, I hear it, you know. It says, uh, verse 12, it says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and elements shall melt with fervent heat. I believe I read that, but that fervent heat is uh, anti-contabilistic missiles, man. And the concentrated fires from the uh, what they so-called UFOs, man. Okay? And the scripture called that you are the chariots of the Most High. You see? Those chariots are going to uh, help destroy this place with, you know, with the uh, anti-contabilistic missiles, man. Okay, it says, uh, verse 13, it says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwell, dwelleth righteousness, man. Okay, so that's what the Lord is coming back for. You know, to dwell, to, to, I mean, to set up his place or his, his kingdom in the, uh, uh, on earth as it is in heaven, man, and streak of righteousness, man. That's why you see America is uh, anything but righteous, man. You know, it's just full of lies and robbery, man. Okay. It says, uh, verse 14, it says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found in him in peace without spot and blankness. Okay, so. That's the, you know, that's the mindset and the, uh, uh, you know, what we have to put into a uh, perspective to be like, man, you know, we practice the righteous act, man, okay, because here in America, being righteous is, uh, uh, you putting yourself at, up as a, uh, uh, you know, for a prey, okay? Uh... All right, let's go back to, uh, back in Job chapter 18. Eighteen and verse, uh, verse seven. It says, the steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall be cast him down. Okay, and this is talking about the elite bankers, man. Because the elites run in everything, okay? What they call themselves the Illuminati, okay? They, they running everything, right? Okay. 